Uh, for your consideration, I'm shooting a little video about the soil. This is in uh, Raymond Remkes Park, San Antonio, Texas. We haven't had a whole lot of rain. As you can see, the ground's real lush here. It's because the soil has a lot of diversity. There's cactuses, there's shrubs, trees, bushes, uh, probably 30 or 40 kinds of grasses around here, slash weeds. Uh, we're coming up on a, a thing called the phosphate barrier up here. Uh, to keep uh, our soil, to keep our population up and everybody fed, we're having to dump a whole lot of phosphates on the soil with repeated of the same crops in the same land corn soy so forth you're supposed to rotate the crops because some crops put things in and some crops take things out anyway they call it the phosphate barrier they they're thinking of ways to try to get around the phosphate barrier even as much as creating toilets that recover the phosphorus in your body after you urinate kind of silly to me i think we should go back to organic farming it won't produce as much but the food will be better telling you something you already know you just haven't realized it each here's a piece of winter grass its root system is a uh, shallow and round where these trees fork off into five and six times and spread out but as long as the soil is aerated it's healthy you have earthworms in it that are naturally turning things over but there's the soil and the subsoil. The, the trees will get down actually in the subsoil to get moisture in for anchorage. But the soil needs biodiversity. You see these people around San Antonio that have uh, carpet grass, zoysia, or St. Augustine. Uh, their yard isn't that healthy. They've got to keep dumping fertilizer year after year. Rather, if you let it go natural, you don't have to put anything and you don't have to water it hardly at all. The reason the U.S. has, has soil, good soil, compared to other countries, there's two main reasons. One is the glaciation. When the, when the Ice Age happened, the glaciers came way further down on this side as compared to the side that, where Russia is. And uh, they uh, came down as far as Kansas City, Missouri. And the glaciers are known as God's Plow and they free a lot of free a lot of uh, minerals from the soil or to the soil the other the other main factor is volcanism uh, been a lot of volcanic eruptions in the u.s which might surprise you not just mount st helens but yellowstone caldera is the biggest caldera in the world that they know of and it's erupted repeatedly uh, they have the timing, the dates wrong. Uh, my uncle lived near Mount St. Helens, about 50 miles away. When it blew, back in the early 80s, it put 10 inches of ash on his yard. Well, it killed everything, and then two years later, the, gra the grass and everything else came back twice as lush. So when the volcano happens, it buries several inches or foot, in ash kills everything there initially which actually acts as composting enriches the soil with sulfur nitrates phosphates every other thing you can think of and then repeated volcanic and then the glaciation uh, mixed up the soil really good here if you look at uh, churches in the Midwest that are really really old in farmland they almost look like islands because they were fenced off for burial and for the actual church itself and they're a good two or three feet higher than the rest of the land around it uh, so we need to keep an, keep an eye on our soil here like I said the phosphate barrier is coming up so we're gonna have to go back to the old ways of doing things really lush growth here cactuses everything succulents flower even wildflowers right now the a, a good companion source for this would be Secrets of the Soil by Peter Tompkins. He wrote another book uh, a long time ago called The Secret Life of Plants. You might have seen him in a couple of old uh, movies back in the 70s, documentaries about supernatural and UFOs where they would 
they would do the Carillion photography on the plants. Well, he was the one that hooked up the lie detectors to the plants. So, uh, if you ever see him, he's an interesting, interesting guy. I'm sure he's passed on to be passed on now. But uh, anyway, this was for your consideration. Oh, by the way, security was provided by Batman for this video. And thank you for your time. Bye.